Well, hello guys. Welcome to Life Nuggets number 106. Hadn't been with you since last Monday on a nugget. Of course, I shared a nugget number 17 Saturday, which on the faithfulness of God, which was awesome. <clears throat> anyway, God is good all the time. I just want to come to you with this. As I was thinking the last few minutes, uh, how to keep your senses in a messed up world. That's right. How to keep your senses in a messed up world. Well, the first thing you have to do is I've kind of gazed through uh, Fox News today and stuff as I'm working and all that. I mean, there's so so many messed up things. And it's just, it's ridiculous. If, if you didn't uh, have the peace of God, you'd go bananas. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. So I believe the first thing you have to do is to shut out all the voices. You can turn it on Fox. You can turn it on CNN, MSNBC. You can listen to what everybody's saying, so many voices. But Ephesians uh, 4.27 says to give the enemy no opportunity or give him no place. And so I believe to have uh, and keep your senses in a messed up, turned up, upside down world, you need to shut the voices out, amen, and uh, listen to the one true voice, the one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to the word, get the word in, amen, hear the Holy Spirit. For the Lord said in John 10, 27, my sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. My friends, the only voice we need to hear is the voice of the Lord. Can I get an amen? And hallelujah, if that's the case, then you won't be confused, you won't be depressed, you won't be discouraged, you won't be angry, you won't be resentful, you won't be bitter, you won't be wanting to go out and shoot somebody, amen, on the other side. <clears throat> but anyway, you will keep your sanity in this upside down world. So we're going to shut the voices out. It's very simple. Give the enemy no opportunity. Say, I'm going to give the enemy no opportunity, amen, to steal my peace. And secondly is this, we're going to keep our mind stayed on the Lord, Isaiah 26, 3. So great peace have they who love his word and law. Nothing shall offend them. Nothing shall cause them to stumble. And Isaiah 26, 3 talks about uh, having peace with the mind stayed on the Lord. If my mind is stayed on the Lord, in other words, I'm thinking about the Lord, I'm thinking about the Word, I'm pursuing Him, I'm looking to Him, I'm praising Him, I'm worshiping Him, uh, hallelujah, I got my eyes fixed upon Him, my heart is uh, on things above, not on earthly things all the time, hallelujah, and so I'm shutting the voices out, I've got my heart uh, on the Lord, I got my mind on the Lord, got my eyes focused on the Lord. Can I get an amen? And I've got my senses in this messed up world. Thirdly, I'm going to do this. I'm just not going to be anxious about anything. For the psalmist said, his heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. He has no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast. Amen. In other words, his heart is sure. His heart is strong. For the eyes of the Lord roam to and fro throughout the earth to strengthen those hearts who are fully committed to him. So my friends, fully commit to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we're not going to be anxious about anything. Uh, but in everything with prayer and petition, presenting our request to God, I'm telling you, the peace of God that passes all understanding. My goodness, you don't need a shot of Jack. You don't need a Valium. You don't need a Stogie. Amen. You don't need another uh, you know, hit an X, my friends. You don't need to run to the psych office. My goodness, or the beer store. You just need to cast all your care upon the Lord, shut out the voices, amen, tune in to the voice of the Lord, get your mind right and stayed on the Lord, my friends, and throw off the anxiousness, throw off the anxiety, throw off the worry, throw off the fear, throw off the dread, amen, and presenting your request to God, 
Hey, he knows what we need before we ask, but he wants us to ask because asking shows faith. And then, my friends, the peace of God garrisons our heart, garrisons our mind in Christ Jesus, for peace is our umpire. Say, peace is my umpire. Hey, Jennifer, what's up? Amen. And so, hallelujah, the Bible also says to uh, trust in the Lord. Number four, trust in the Lord. I'm going to lean on, commit to, rely on, and trust in the Lord and do good. And I'm going to dwell in the land. I'm going to dwell in his promises. I'm going to dwell in his word. I'm going to dwell in his presence. I'm going to dwell in his goodness. I'm going to dwell in his grace. I'm going to dwell in his mercy. I'm going to dwell in his kindness. I'm going to dwell in him and enjoy safe pastor. Oh my goodness, friends, the world's messed up. Too many voices upside down. Amen. Bad's evil, evil's good, and all that kind of good stuff, man. All bad stuff. Oops. But anyway, how to keep your senses in a messed up world? Well, praise God, we're going to shut the voices out. Amen. We're going to keep our minds stayed on the Lord and on the Word. Amen. We're going to be anxious about nothing. Amen. And we're going to dwell in the land. For he says, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you. You will ask what you will. You will ask what you wish. You will ask what you desire. And it shall be given. Shout, it shall be given. Amen. I just receive right now the peace that passes all understanding. For Jesus said, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give unto you. So let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. My friends, receive the peace, walk in the peace, peace to those who are far away, and peace to those who are near in a messed up, upside down world. We can walk in his peace, walk in his rest, walk in his love, and walk in his joy. Hallelujah. And be contagious. In the Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, I bless you today. Amen. Be looking forward to uh, getting out a single soon on. Amen. Taking back the sound and uh, getting it done June 19th, next Monday night, going back in and recording Jesus, my King, which would be kind of, it'd be like a worship song. So we'll be going to rock on it. We're going to rap on it. We're going to funk on it. We're going to uh, just punk on it. We're going to now we're going to worship on it. Amen. It's the whole thing's worship, but it's just diff every song's different, you know. So, anyway, God's good. I'm Dan Ingram. I'm out. Shalom.